This program is rated G and is suitable for general audiences. The breakout duo of the decade. Two boys from Pineville now selling out arenas across the country. Please welcome Bedford and Sullivan. Hey folks, how you doing tonight? What a great audience! The world-renowned musical duo keeps recording hit after hit. One December night stays on the top of the chart for the sixth week in a row. After multiple gold records, Steve Bedford and Mike Sullivan are calling it this quits. This may be the end of our favorite duo. Hopefully this isn't the last of Bedford and Sullivan. Yes, hi, it's Quinn Allen. You saw Addison's review in Pitchfork, right? Of course she can sell out a theater. I understand what you're saying, but I think that you're missing the bigger picture. There's more to music than just streaming numbers. I mean, that's why they don't write songs on calculators, am I right? Hello? Baby, please come home. They're singing deck the halls. But it's not like Christmas at all. Cause I remember when you were here And all the fun we had last year Pretty lights on the tree I'm watching them shine You should be here with me, please Baby, please come home oh. <laughs> Thank you so much Oh, oh, peppermint mocha. Thank you, Addison, you are so amazing. Any luck? Not yet, but I'm gonna get you booked on a big tour soon enough. I believe in you. I won't let you down. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> okay, stay warm. Thank you, I needed this. I'm gonna get to work. I will be in touch. Okay. Bye. <laughs> You good? Addison is the best singer-songwriter since Joni Mitchell. Can't even get her booked in a coffee shop. Some of those Starbucks are huge. I told her to move to New York, Brooke. I told her to take a smaller advance. And if I can't get her booked on a big tour... What? She's in a pretty deep hole. How deep? <laughs> Haven't found the bottom yet. You know, Jay Savant needs an opener. Maybe I convinced Diane to book Addison. What's that for? To remind myself why I do this. Fra la 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 la, I'm missing you. I tried to find a lover, but another won't do. Fra la la la, I'm losing you. Oh, this is Addison Reed. It is from her new album. Can you turn it down? People are trying to work. Jason, what's this I hear? You can't keep your stars in the same room. Steve Bedford's my client. We all know no one's crazy enough to manage Mike Sullivan. So how are you involved exactly? I was asked for my assistant, so here I am. Moved by the Christmas spirit, I'm sure. Don't look a gift reindeer in the mouth, Jason. So the network called? No, the producer, Troy. He's my nephew. Hmm. That makes sense. She told me you two needed help. And I have just the person in mind. Well, thank you, Diane, but no, we... Troy? That's work-related, right? Alan, we're walking. What can you tell me about Bedford and Sullivan? The musical duo? No, the magicians. Yes, the duo. I mean, they're legends. Mm. They broke up years ago. Ten years ago. And then you know what happened in Alberta. Mike Sullivan got so drunk he couldn't even play guitar. And they never shared a stage again. Until now. In three weeks, Bedford and Sullivan are reuniting live on network TV. Christmas from Big Red. Okay, but they're not even our clients. Familiar with quid pro quo? Yes. 
Seems Mike is making things difficult, so I told the network I'd send somebody over. Me? Hmm. Wouldn't Brooke be better? She's very persuasive. I considered Brooke, but you're still my first choice. <laughs> Why? Because Mike Sullivan is your father. We background check all the employees. Nothing personal. Alan's your mother's maiden name, yeah? You're Mike's daughter. You can talk some sense into him. Sorry. You'll have to find someone else. Uh, we all have fathers. Hmm. Okay. Fine. I'll do it. On one condition. Jason Ant needs an opener. Book Addison Reed. She's ready. Quid pro quo. Christmas from Big Red goes to air. Addison's got her tour. She actually, she could be a star given the right guidance. Pick a couple songs she can play before Bedford Sullivan. <laughs> you want her to open the show? But what about the network? Let me worry about the network. <laughs> Diane, thank you. Talk to Elaine. She'll set you up with a car. We need you in Vineville by tomorrow. Quinn, Addison isn't the only one who's ready. Get that show to air. Morning. Morning. My office made the reservation. Should be under Quinn Allen. Sorry, I'm not seeing a reservation under Allen. Quinn uh, Sullivan? There you are. Second floor. Wait, Sullivan? No relation. <laughs> Enjoy your stay. Thank you. And make sure to book the tour soon. Tickets are selling out fast this year. Tour? The world famous Bedford Sullivan bus tour. See where they first met, played their first show. And Big Red, the house where they recorded their greatest album. I'll think about it. Thank you again, Principal Wilkes. Mineville doesn't have many uh, options for rehearsal space, so appreciate it. Oh, it's no problem at all. Kids are getting a real kick out of big stars using the theater. Hey, big? Well, sure, I have gained a little weight. Hi, Steve Bedford, how you doing? Now, we're guests here, and that's exactly how we'll behave. You make yourself at home. <laughs> Look, let me know if you need anything. I can't wait to see the show. <sighs> if there is a show, let me guess. No word from Mike. Well, we knew what we signed up for. Never has a way of playing tricks. Oh, you have some good news. Check this out. What is it? It's your bobblehead. A bobblehead? Why do I need a bobblehead? Because last week you asked for a bobblehead. Right, okay. So, do you like it? I mean, just a prototype. No, it's great. I look pretty good as a bobblehead. Kidding me. <sighs> well, excuse me. I'm looking for Steve Bedford's manager. I don't know his name, but I was told that he would be here. Just a second. Yeah, I'm actually Quinn. Jason. You're Steve's manager? <laughs> they have the best pumpkin pie here. You know, Dad actually used to have it delivered to the city after we moved. I always make it a point to grab a slice when I'm in town. Do you come back often? Yeah, pretty often. How long did you say that you've been your dad's manager? Five. 
Maybe six years. How long, it's Jason? It's not what you think. You scammed my dad out of his half of the publishing. We wanted your dad to get a you lawyer. You took advantage of him. But tortured artist Mike Sullivan was above all that. So you can have it, he said. My dad gave up his half of the publishing, just like that. Just like that. Why would he do that? Ask him. <laughs> Look, my dad built bridges as fast as your dad burned them down. Without his charisma and harmonies, they would have made it a year. Without my dad's songs and talent, they wouldn't have made it at all. I did what was best for my client. You're a manager. You would have done the same exact thing. <laughs> Good evening, Jason. Who's your friend? Hi, Norma. Quinn? Oh, it's like Bedford and Sullivan, the sequel. I think one Bedford and Sullivan is plenty. <laughs> oh, no, not in my book. Well, what can I get you off the griddle? Coffee's fine, Norma. It's so good to see you, Quinn. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, but I'm surprised you're defending him. Word has it you don't even come back very often. Diane sent me to help with the show, and that is what I'm going to do. Fine. We've gotten a little behind. The producer, Troy, he's a good guy. He's just in over his head. Can we call the network and get them to send someone else? He's Diane's nephew. Oh. Yeah. oh. I've held off the network as long as I can, but they're getting answered for new promos. They want proof that Bedford and Sullivan are still together. New stills, B-roll, not to mention your dad still hasn't signed the insurance I form for production brief. B on the property. Okay. Let's just deliver one toy at a time, okay? There's a photo shoot tomorrow. We really need your dad to be there. For what it's worth, I'm glad Diane chose you. It's nice to keep things in the family. Norma, just put that on my tab. So, I just heard back from the Oasis. They're offering you a residency. In Vegas? Should I order a sequin jumpsuit? Why not? Dad, this could be great. No more busting across country. We could maybe have time for golf, fishing. You want me to play for a bunch of high rollers who got free tickets losing at blackjack? No, thank you. Dad. The draw of Steve Bedford without Mike has run out. Look, half of our spring dates are already canceled. Book what you can sell. Like what? Corporate holiday parties? The Oasis, you say? Offer stands as long as Christmas at Big Red makes hair. Sound like a plan? Dad, have you seen my room key? Should I tell them that you're interested or not? In what? Vegas. Vegas, uh, yeah, sure, just, yeah, whatever you think. Dad, you've been signing these all morning. Let's, let's go grab a cup of coffee. No, I just, I just want to do this, okay? Quinn. Hey, Dad. Come on in.
Did you know I was coming? I wish I had. Is something wrong? No. The place looks good. Very tidy. Surprised you haven't decorated for Christmas yet. Mom would have had the tree up by now. There's not much sense in putting it up. I, I don't get a lot of company, except for the tourist buses. I was just about to make lunch. How about a ham sandwich? No, I can't stay. Well, no, this is not a social call, is it? My office sent me to help with the show. They think I need a babysitter. Prove you don't. Turnkey Studios. Tomorrow, 10 a.m. I must have missed that day in music school when they talked about posing for pictures. You knew what you signed up for. I signed up for a concert. I'm no show pony. And you can tell Diane I said that. How'd you know that I work for Diane? You know, I, I heard it somewhere. Did she call you when I applied for the job? I can't believe this. She was going to hire you anyway. If I wanted your help, I would have asked. You don't want my help. You've made that clear. <sighs> Dad, are you OK? Me? Sure. One day at a time. You can stay here if you like. Thanks. I have a room at the end. It's really nice to see you. Start rehearsals in a couple weeks. I'll send you your itinerary. Thanks, Quinn. This is the best Christmas present ever. Bye. <sighs> Hi. Uh, can I get a key for Steve's room? Another one? No. Artist, right? <laughs> he does have a lot on his plate. OK, here we go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a good one. Just crap me out of that one. Cue ball? <laughs> Uncle Steve. Hey. Wow. It's great to see you. Oh, it's good to see you, too, Uncle Steve. I heard you moved to the city. How are you enjoying life in the Big Apple? It's big, all right. Hey, uh, did you talk to your dad? Yeah, I don't think he's going to show. Well, we can still get your solo shots, Dad. Yeah, maybe not this time. I mean, when Mike decides to grace us with his presence, then I'll be there, too. In the meantime, I have some pictures to take. Great to see you. Okay, here we go. Great. It's contagious. My room's that way. <laughs> uh, can I ask, what do you plan on doing with all those decorations? Um, decorate. Um, okay, your hotel room? If I'm going to have to deal with my dad for the first time in eight years, I am at least coming home to the smell of a calming cinnamon candle. <laughs> oh, hey, um, thanks, by the way. For what? Being nice to my dad. And things soured between them. I'm sure you felt caught in the middle, too. Steve Bedford and his manager are one thing. But I can't stay mad at Uncle Steve. He's family. <laughs> Even at their lowest, my dad gave Steve credit for one thing. He was always good to me. It's funny. My dad said the same thing about Mike. Good night. Good night. Switch parents. What? It's the middle of the night. You said so yourself. 
Your dad's always been nice to me. My dad's always been nice to you. So maybe we can get them to do things that the other one can't. I see where you're going with this. I didn't have any luck with Mike before you got here. No, so Steve's manager didn't. But what about Jay Buck? The kid who always used to sled down his hill and eat his chocolate fudge. Are you sure you're not just trying to avoid your dad? Do you want to save the show or not? Go to bed. It's gonna work. Good night. <sighs> Morning, Troy. Hey, um, bad news. Before coffee bad news or after coffee bad news? Network's threatening to cancel the show if we can't get promo pictures or drops for the radio station. Before coffee. And no mic. They're not gonna send a crew for a show that might not happen. Did you, uh, see my dad? Uh, Quinn came by, said something about quality time with Uncle Steve, and they took off. Did they say where they were going? No, but she had Principal Wilkes loan her a camera from the AV closet. That reminds me, were you gonna cancel that photographer? Or was I supposed to do that? That's an after coffee problem, Drew. Well, because I, I can. I... Oh, come on. Who ordered Rockstar look number four? Uh, my face happens to look like that. <laughs> uh, hey, Dad. What's hey. going on? Well, I was having coffee with Quinn, and she talked me into getting my solo shots taken care of. Ah. Does this qualify as quality time? Have you met your father? Fine. We'll do it your way. <laughs> Look at that. That's the one. I don't know about this. Come on. My dad always loved this bonding stuff. Just be yourself. You got this, J-Bug. It just feels like I'm tricking him into something. My dad has locked himself away in that house. He might need this as much as we do. Just try. OK. But I've knocked on that door. He doesn't answer. That's because you need the secret knock. There's a secret knock? After Live from Big Red came out, fans started showing up at the house. So you came up with a secret knock to know it was one of you. <laughs> My dad always joked about putting up an electric fence, but mom thought that zapping fans was hmm, probably a bad idea. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes. He needs help to do what's right. So how does this not go? Secret knock's not so secret. <laughs> Uncle Mike. Hey, Jay Bug. Can I come in? I was just about to make a sandwich. Oh, perfect. You two used to go caroling with Lorraine every Saturday during the holidays. I could hear you clear down the block. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Quinn and I didn't exactly inherit our dad's vocal chops, did we? No, you didn't. <laughs> but kids sing with their whole heart. That's a beautiful sound. Here. Keep it so you can remember. Oh, thanks. Gotten to do any ice fishing with your dad? I wish. Oh, man has not taken 15 minutes off his whole life. At least, at least you guys are still together. Yeah. It's just work. You know, sometimes we're in the same room. It feels like we're even more distant. Sorry. Sorry. I don't know where that came from. I'd be happy to take you. Really? Mm hmm I would love that. But, you know. Just so busy with what the show. Yeah. So what'd you come here for today? The insurance forms or the promotional photos? Neither. I just came here for a sandwich, Uncle Mike. Right. and Sullivan show with only your dad on the billboard, I wouldn't give Steve the satisfaction. <laughs> Ooh, nothing wrong with that one. Yeah, that's good. Save that one. Okay. No way. All right. Then. Oh, hold on a sec. All right. 
Hey, Aunt Diane. Hey, cue ball. How's it looking, Uncle Steve? Pretty good. Oh, better than good. Quinn, it's for you. Thanks. Hello? Sounds like our train is back on the tracks. So, have you spoken with your father? I did. He, um, it's still a work in progress. Okay. Diane, did you hire me because of my father? Not sure I appreciate the question, Quinn. <laughs> right, um, I'm sorry. Just keep your eye on your goal. There's a lot riding on you. I'm on it. Yeah, That's the truth right, of it. All right. They're all great. All right. Let's get this over with. <laughs> wow. I haven't seen you for five years, and that's all you got to say? Hello, Steve. You lost some hair. <sighs> Happy? Boys of Tupper. I'm one who's lost some hair, you know. And not as I, uh, much as you. At least I let I her go. When I say yeah, going you are but but I was a photography happy. minor in college, camera, so... You, yeah, I'd be happy. A lot happier if you showed up the first two times we tried to do this. <laughs> that's so funny, because skipping those two put a big smile on my face. Like this. Ah, that's great, Mike. Hate to think that you've changed. <laughs> you just keep singing my songs, Steve. Our songs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so impressed you can sing two-part harmony all by yourself. Yeah, that's funny. That's because I can hear myself. I'm not being drowned out by you. Hey, I think we can get them to relax their hands. What, the clenched fist don't scream Christmas? OK, we good? Right? Done. Thanks. Hey, guys, to help get you in the spirit. Come on, Mike. Come on, let's do this a little better. You always right? need to be down front, don't you? You just can't quite keep up, man. can you? You just can't keep up. Yeah, you can't go. Whoa, whoa. There. Go on, hey. Come on. Don't throw your back out there. Come Fine. Come on, big man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Got it. Well, that went well. Thanks for getting my dad there. Too bad he was. No, he wasn't. It took him less than five minutes to start swinging that candy cane like a morning star. To be fair, my dad was just as much at fault. Give your dad a break. Maybe he's changed. I've been waiting for that change my whole life. Well, Troy's getting those photos over to the network, but they still need video of them singing together at Big Red. Better chance they both get struck by lightning. Sure, they'd prefer it. Hey, <laughs> how's it going over at Big Red? Great. Right. Oh, if you need anything, just give me a shout. I'll run it right over. Uh, coffee, sandwiches. Pie. Oh, yes. <laughs> Bye. Listen, tell your dad thank you for us. I know Mike hates this kind of attention, so it's not easy for him, but... Being the hometown of Bedford and Sullivan sure means a lot to people around here, you know? Certainly good for the tourism. Yeah, that too, but it's their music that touches so many people. We're so proud of them. Hey. I may have an idea. You free later? Yeah, but... You know, first, I think we should probably go check in with our dads, make sure that they've recovered from the candy cane wars. <laughs> Good idea. Well, Quinn, the show must... Don't say it. Oh. Ooh. Whoa, slow down. You already signed these. Oh, I didn't. Okay, well, I know I signed that side, but I didn't sign that side. Yeah, but I don't think they need... Look, you just got to let me do this my way, okay? Okay. The record companies used to make us sign this stuff all day long. I'm good. Are you good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good.
You're not going to find anything. It's coming up on five years. Coming up when? Four and a half years from now? Christmas. Imagine the guitar player I would have been with hands this steady. I did. We all did. That's not me anymore. How do you explain how you acted today? Oh, I mean, compared to the scrapes Steve and me used to have, that was nothing. If this is all such an inconvenience, then why are you even doing the show? Because being a retired rock star doesn't pay much. So what, you're broke? You're broke? Come New Year's, if I don't pay off the mortgage, Big Red belongs to the bank. You remortgaged Big Red. Mm -hmm. but if you're having money issues, then why did you give up your half of the publishing? Those songs brought me nothing but trouble. Dad, they're your art. They were, but at some point, they, they belonged to everyone else. It's, it's like Big Red. I grew up here, but now it's a star on a map. They're going to take that from me, too. Well, maybe you're going to have to start compromising. Stop being so stubborn all the time. I can't be someone I'm not. More albums? Yeah. It's a long story. It's funny, isn't it? What? Well, most kids rebel against their parents. We both followed ours into music. Oh, I didn't follow my dad into anything. Besides, my dad treats music less like a job and more like a family curse. <gasps> Cider. You want some? Yes, please. Hi. Uh, two, please. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Thank you. You're welcome. Cheers. Cheers. Whew. You cold? Uh, yeah. <sighs> what kind of New Yorker doesn't have a hat? The kind who dropped everything last minute to get here? Hold this. Thank you. <laughs> I guess this life isn't for everyone, huh? You know, my friends almost put my face on a milk carton. You have friends? Lucky you. <laughs> what, you're not burning up the New York club scene? Hardly. My coworker did sign me up for a dating app, but I haven't finished filling out the profile yet. I can't figure out a more elegant way of saying workaholic. Has an affinity for productivity. <laughs> well, I do have an answer to our promo problem. So I hear. <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh, Steve. Always going above and beyond for the fans. <laughs> well, he figured you could use him for a raffle or something. Oh, absolutely, yes. Yeah. Your dad was always so handsome. <laughs> Don't see him much around town anymore. You know how it can be, Lorraine. Yes. Everyone's very excited about the big Christmas show, though. <laughs> Lorraine, speaking of the Christmas show, do you still take the kids caroling? Every Saturday, same as when you were kids. Why? Do you think you're gonna have to stop? I think I could. Perfect. <laughs> Do I still know the spots or what? <laughs> I bet you never caught half as many fish with your old man. <laughs> oh, it's hard to say. It's been so long, Uncle Mike. You know, that's how I met your dad. Fishing? I thought it was at school. Nah, we, we stole that from Paul McCartney and George Harrison. Because <laughs> our first publicist didn't think fishing was relatable enough. When I was a kid, I had a spot downstream. And one day, there was a kid there taking all my fish. So let me guess, that was also the first Mike Steve fight? No. He put me onto a split shot he was using, and, and we caught fish till our hands were chapped. Huh. You know what I'd say? Yeah. Good team right from the start. I guess so. Hmm. Is this okay right. here? Yeah, we good. You see him? You, you can get the house too. Okay. Here, let me. I'll just take this. I'll ask the question. All right. Hey. All right. Yeah. Go. Let's let's get started. <sighs> okay. So, Steve, what's it like to be back in front of the famous Big Red where the live album was recorded? Well, it hasn't changed a bit, though. It wasn't a tourist destination back then. Well, Pineville can thank you for that. 
I'm not sure if I should say you're welcome or I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so now that you and Mike are reunited, can we expect to hear any new material at the concert? Oh, you'll just have to tune in on the 23rd to find out. Cut. Okay. That's great. Thank you. And this is probably... Yeah, Lorraine's on her way with the kids. Perfect. I'll go check on the sound. I can't believe Lorraine still takes kids caroling. Well, Pineville is definitely stuck in the past, and, you know, that's part of its charm. <laughs> oh, Mom loved the caroling. You know, every Saturday she would have cocoa and shortbread cookies waiting for all the kids. Nobody made cocoa like Victoria. <laughs> and nobody made shortbread cookies like her either. <laughs> oh, come on, you can say <laughs> They were drier than cardboard. Yeah. Now, did your grandmother have a sweater that had bells on the sleeve so she jingled when she walked? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she did. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't thought about that in years. You know, Christmas with Mike back when your grandparents owned Big Red was just one big family. And those memories, you're not going to find them on a tour bus. Lorraine! Hey, Lorraine! We're coming! <laughs> Here we go. Hi, it's All right. John. Okay, kids, okay. Now, don't out-sing me now. We'll My name's right Steve. I'm, I'm the nice one. <laughs> uh, what do you think? What could go wrong? What's going on here? Hi! I was fishing. Great. It was great. Till I got back here to people trespassing on my property. Hi, Mike. Lorraine. Okay, kids. If you ask real nice, I bet Mr. Sullivan will join us for a song. No. Oh, come on, Dad. I... For old times' sake. Jerry will. Oh, yeah. 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 Fine. Please. Hey, not too sure Joy. about the words. Oh, just uh, follow our lead. All right. Up on the hot top, reindeer paws, out jumps good old Santa Claus. Down through the chimney with lots of toys, all for the little one's Christmas joys. Ho, 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 ho who would go? Ho, 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 who would go? Up on the house top, click, 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 down through the chimney with old Saint Nick. Ho, 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 who wouldn't go? Ho, 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 who wouldn't go? Up on the house top, click, click, click. Down to the chimney with old Saint Nick. Down to the chimney with old Saint Nick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, kids, just a few more houses to hit, and then... Pumpkin pie at Norma's. Yay! Yay! Great job. <laughs> thank, thank you. Save me a slice. Good job. Lorraine, thank you so much for coming on such short notice. Anything for Mike and Steve. <laughs> Bye, guys. Take Bye. care. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Get that to the network as soon as humanly possible. Yeah. OK. OK. Come on. Come on. No, it's definitely it's a C. In the bridge, it's a C. No, it's an A, and then it's a C, like I'm coming home. That's why you always mess up coming home. I got a piano inside. I'll prove it to uh, you. All right, lead the way. Come on. What's going on? Our dads are going inside to play the piano. Well, come on, let's listen. No, this was it. Nice. Whoa. Whoa! It's simpler. Okay, fine. <sighs> I, I hope so. Well, hate to admit this, but. Uh... I think your nutty plan is actually worse. Shh. Don't jinx it. We should look at it. Home, coming home, coming home. You know, I always love visiting here. That always made his Pineville years seem so perfect. I get it. <laughs> I was always jealous that you got to grow up in the city while well, I was stuck here with my codependent parents. Really? I mean, I get your dad, but. Your mom, she always seemed to be so above it all. Yeah, that was her talent. Fortunately, I didn't inherit it. <laughs> Wasn't all bad, though, was it? No, there's good times, too. <laughs> Google alert for Addison. Mm. She's in a music showcase. It's another rave review. Okay. 
That's good news, right? It should be. I just, I cannot get more traction for her. Yeah, these things take time. I don't have much time. I discovered her in Alaska, and then I convinced her to uproot her entire life and sign a deal that let her keep her publishing. Which makes a smaller advance. Diane said that if we can pull off Christmas with Big Red, that she'll put her on a big tour. If the show doesn't happen? Then I will have ruined the young woman's life. You know, if it makes you feel any better, my dad's touring. It's not going so hot either. I lined up a residency in Vegas, but they'll only sign if they get the media boost of Big Red making air. Sorry, I didn't know. I guess we're in the same boat, huh? Same boat, different stories. I was just... Reading my mind. I was about to come ask you to help me model Christmas attire. Christmas attire? Yeah. Yes. Great. What do you think? Too much? <laughs> no such thing as too much Christmas. Especially not in Pineville. <laughs> Well, I can tell you, Pineville is definitely more festive than Thailand or Fiji or whatever other tropical resort my mom dragged me to during Christmas. What about Christmases with your dad? <laughs> yeah, what about Christmases with my dad? After my parents split up, he always worked over the holidays. But I do remember those Christmases over at Big Red before <laughs> we moved. Your mom went all out decorating. Oh, like she was hosting St. Nick herself. Oh. Nice. <laughs> that must be where you get it from. Doesn't feel like Christmas if I'm not drowning in decoration. Hmm. Okay. What about this one? For Mike? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think it's a right for Mike. Hmm. He never struck me as the dress up type. Hmm. Not even for a televised Christmas special. I mean, Dad loved Christmas, but you're right. It's not exactly. Rockstar approved. Yeah. Christmas was the one day every year that he was present and not. You know, the rest of the year he belonged to the world, but on Christmas, he belonged to us. What? A Rudolph eye mask. <sighs> hey. Uh, there's trouble at the theater. Something about Mike and a lot of extension cord. Nice mask, by the way. Extension cord? I mean, he probably just needs it for the equipment or something. 2,000 feet? Come on. Yeah, whatever was left of Mike's mind, he's lost it. Where is he? Took you so long. Mike, come on back inside. It's freezing out here. It's a Christmas show, right? Right. Tell me you know what night the show is. December 23rd. Since you've all left Pineville in your rearview mirror, allow me to remind you that Pineville is cold in December. OK, make your point so we can go back inside. Cold makes guitar strings shorter, lips numb, fingers stiff. We got two weeks. What good's rehearsing inside of a theater when we need to get used to the elements? Actually, good point. Yeah, you know, I was thinking that same thing. Jason, let's get my gear ready. <laughs> Glad you showed up. Oh, showing up's the easy part. It's carrying Steve Bedford to another performance. I don't know. 
That's a whole other story. <laughs> Fa la la la, love is in the air, but I'm so alone without you near. Oh, Fa la la la, I need your hand, baby. Come home and give me Christmas cheer. When the sky turned gray, you walked away, couldn't find you anywhere. Through the falling snow, I searched high and low. All of the winds are crying me a river, 'cause those pretty lights dangling so bright, twinkling like your eyes. When you would look at me, need you here with me, need your love and your kisses, the mistletoe's waiting. So please come home this Christmas Eve. It's been so long since I. It's been a while. It's been a long time coming. You gotta tell me something. Have you been thinking of me this winter season? Ooh, la 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 la. Have you been thinking of me? This winter season. Hi, folks. I'm Steve Bedford, and I'm here with Mike Sullivan. Wishing WKRS Milwaukee a Merry Christmas. Hope you'll join us for Christmas at Big Red. It's great, Uncle Steve,、uh, but we've already got Milwaukee, so this is Boise. Boise. What? A... Oh. Ah.、Uh, uh, okay. Sorry. Let's just let's just go again. Okay, Dad. Maybe we should take a break. Why is your finger tired? No, I was just. Are we ready, Quinn? Whenever you are. Boise, W K R W, W K R W. W K R S. W K R S. Oh, I see what I did. Okay. W K R S, W K R S, Boise, W K R S. Hi, folks. I'm Steve Bedford, and I'm here with Mike Sullivan. Wishing WKRS Boise a Merry Christmas. Hope you'll join us for Christmas at Big Red. Orlando, is that next?、Mm. Okay. okay, meet and greet. Land on music. Half an hour. Oh, Dad, you're wiped. Let me cancel. Let's grab lunch. No, if people take the time out of their day to see me, the least I can do is show up, right? Your dad works so hard. I see where you get your work ethic. <laughs> Remind me to thank him. <laughs> hey, you're making time for him. At some point, it's up to him to make time for you. You want to grab lunch? I would, but I've got a Zoom with Addison. Right, right. But after that, Lorraine needs help decorating the Christmas tree in town. Come with me. I would love that. <laughs> I'll see you there. Okay. <laughs> Are you sure that's not too many ornaments? Ah,、oh, no such thing as too many ornaments. <laughs> I'll get some more. Got plenty over here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, sorry. No.、Nope. Good catch. Let me help you. <laughs> <sighs> I'm not cut out for this, am I? What are you talking about? This looks great. Plus, I'm sure that Lorraine's just grateful that you volunteered. No, I mean producing the show. If it weren't for you and Jason. Hey, don't be so hard on yourself. You've come a long way. Plus, everyone makes mistakes, right? Does everyone get hired because their aunt is Diane Carter? I got my job because my dad's Mike Sullivan. What? No way. No, my aunt Diane loves you. She says you remind her of her younger self. Really? Yeah. And for my aunt Diane, that's like the highest form of praise there is. Hopefully, one day she talks about me the way she talks about you. I wow. Just, <laughs> I don't even know where to put these anymore. Here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Looks good. We got another problem to fear. How much extension cord this time? I wish. You get serious. 
Ah, uh, they want the hits, Mike. Give them the hits, Mike. I was sick of it then. I'm sick of it now. Yeah, you're always sick of something, aren't you, pal? Hey, you want to know what I'm sick of? Oh, yeah, I'm whoa, dying to hear. Whoa, Tell whoa, me what whoa. you're sick hey, of. Hey, guys, stop. All this over a set list? Yeah, I'm sure that we can work something out. He won't play one December night. You know what that's like? That's like Mariah not doing All I Want for Christmas. I have over 30 years of hits. <laughs> he complains about singing lead. So we can't play any of our songs where he sings lead. Come on! That's right. Our songs, Steve. Well, maybe you forgot that, playing them by yourself for the past 10 years. I never played one December night, Mike. Not even once. Now, I know that you were hurting that night in Alberta. But you didn't just let me down. You let down 40,000 people who came to watch us play. And ultimately, you let her down. They'll get over it, just the way they talk. Maybe we can fix it. You ready? <laughs> oh, Is no? Steve ready? That was a lot. Yeah. Here you go. Thanks. Steve, you now have your guitar back. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's rocking and rolling. Sorry about my dad. He didn't have to be so hard on Uncle Mike. He didn't say anything that isn't true. He knows that's Vicky's song. Can't imagine how hard that must be for him. I can. He was never the same after she got sick. You know, it, it really does seem like he's trying. And if the pain of playing that song makes him go back. I'll call the network. They can do without one December night. It's one song. Okay. Okay. Now we need to set. Good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> look, Quinn and I fixed it. No harm done. Look at that. I look pretty good as a bobblehead. Yeah, you mentioned that. Boy, I'll tell you, this past week with Mike, it felt almost like when we were kids. I didn't realize how much I missed that. Yeah. I mean, maybe you should have thought about that, Dad, before you... I know. I know. Mike can be a handful, but I can be a real heel sometimes, too. Wish I could make things right. Look, Dad, just tell him how much he means to you. That before you guys were famous, you were family. Nothing's more important than that. That's what I'd want to hear. If I was Mike... Red or green? Oh, nobody cares what color shirt I wear. Well, if I left it up to you, you'd play in a bathrobe. Now we're talking. <laughs> Need some help decorating? No. Come on. You could use a little Christmas in here. It's not the secret knock. Could be anyone. <laughs> Hi, come in. I'm not here to fight. Then why are you here? Do you remember how we chose whose name came first in the band? Yeah. We flipped a coin. No, we flipped this coin. You still carry that around with you. I've lost it more times than I can count, but it always finds its way back. Now, you and I, we haven't always gotten along. Uh, that's an understatement. But we always find our way back to each other. What do you say we flip one more time? Heads, we play the show. Tails, we don't. I'm not playing one December night. Understood. OK, hold on. Wait a second. Let's just all slow this down here, OK? Ah. 
Heads it is. <laughs> okay, if we're gonna play, let's play. You're gonna figure out the set list. So, Thank goodness came up heads. So what are we gonna play? It's a trick coin. Let's start big, right? It's okay. It's okay. Your dad knows. What? Yeah, well, you said it yourself. Sometimes your dad needs help to do the right thing. Well, why not do the well, big, the big one? The Sometimes mine needs to think he's getting his way. Then do one of your, your bogus, tender love things. <laughs> They're doing this the whole night. Skiing? Surfing. OK. <laughs> we did it. Oh, oh thanks so much. Oh. I think it's time. We're gonna have to light the tree without you. No, you wouldn't dare. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, I was gonna go to Pineville Grill. Would you like to come with me? I haven't been there since prom. Oh, yeah? To uh, have a good date? Yeah, but tonight's gonna be better. <laughs> okay, everybody, here we go. Why a bobblehead? Well, the lunchbox was one of our best sellers. So my question is, why not a bobblehead? It's not about lunchboxes and bobbleheads. You know, people love your dad. They want to support him. It's a beautiful thing. You have to be careful not to take advantage. Hmm. So I should cancel the Mike Sullivan action figure? <laughs> Did you know that dad doesn't even have a Christmas tree? Yeah, I noticed. What are you doing? We are going to get Uncle Mike a Christmas tree. It's 10 o'clock. If Santa can deliver toys to every child in one night, we can deliver one Christmas tree. Missing is the Mission Impossible music. <laughs> Operation Christmas Tree. Accomplished. <sighs> well, do you have anything to go on top? To the honors? As you wish. I think. Not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> It was a lot quieter before you two got into town. Hey, how come Mike? Jay Bug. We just thought that you. No, no, no. no. I like it. Thank you. <sighs> Night, Uncle Mike. I'll see you, Jay Bug. So, how'd you get inside? I still have my key. I'm glad you do. This is your home, too. <laughs> Good night, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. You want to talk about it? Growing up, everybody talked about Mike Sullivan. Like, me and my dad were two completely different people. Yeah, they like say never meet your heroes, but it'd be hard when their heroes are our dads. 
Everybody loves a bad boy rock star, right? So even when I was a kid and his drinking was scary and confusing, everybody around me excused it. And then mom got sick. And I just couldn't excuse it anymore. It was just too devastating. And then the end came. And he wasn't there. Hey, you shouldn't have had to go through that alone. And I told myself that anybody who depends on me, I will be there for them. And that I would never depend on my dad. Again. But. <sighs> People can change. Right? I think so. And I think you need to give me a chance to prove it. It's gonna be okay. I can tell Quinn. Okay, hey. yeah, you're the messenger? Hey. Hey. What? Uh, well, uh, we, we heard from the network. No one December night, no show. They're not gonna cancel three nights before. Well, you don't book Mike Sullivan without a backup plan, so they've got a best of Christmas late night thing ready to go. But they did agree to a compromise. Yeah, which is I sing one December night myself. Dad'll never go for it. No, no, he wouldn't. So what are you saying? We filmed my dad in his show day wardrobe and they cut it in during the broadcast. Without telling dad. I, he found out. Look, you say the word, we'll forget the whole thing. If the show doesn't happen, Dad's gonna lose Big Red. Uh, well, if it's about the money. It's not just that. He's also getting his life back. Let me talk to him. Well, we won't do anything until we hear from you. You have our word. Dad? Good morning. Do you have more shirts for me to try on? Weirdest thing, but I've had a hankering for some shortbread cookies. Say no more. It's not coming together. Uh oh, good. Grandma Sullivan's never did either. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it was Grandma's recipe? I thought it was Mom's. No, your mom got it from my mom. So she knew they were dry? Oh, yeah. But she didn't want to hurt my feelings by changing my mother's recipe. Why didn't she say anything? Well, we Sullivans tend to be a bit hard-headed. News to me. <laughs> well, she knew that it was not just a recipe. It was a connection to family and traditions. Speaking of traditions, I like what you did to the living room. Well, the place was looking a little bare. <laughs> this is wonderful. But you might as well come out with it. The network says no show if you guys don't do one December night. Well, I'm glad we got to decorate Big Red one last time. This is where he grew up. It's where I grew up. It's home. Don't give up on that. Please, Dad. Quinn, I was not the father you deserved. When your mother was in the hospital, I couldn't handle it. I was scared. And she saw the way I was drinking, and she asked me to stay away until I could stop thinking about myself and start thinking about you. But by then, it was too late. And she was gone. I'm sorry. I am sorry, I am sorry, I am sorry. Can you ever forgive me?
Hey, Dad. Uh, why are you in your show clothes? We shot a backup of one December night, just in case. Are you serious? Dad! I know. We have no intention of using it, but sometimes Mike has to be saved from himself. He can't lose Big Red. Troy, can you give us a minute? Dad, we talked about this. You gave us your word right here. This is wrong. Look, Mike needs this show to happen. I need this show to happen. It might be the last one. I'm getting you a residency in Vegas. You can do that until you're 90, Dad. No, I can't. I think it's your only option. No, Jason, I... I can't. What do you mean you can't? It was the little things at first, and then the bigger ones. My memory felt like snow melting through my fingers. And uh, so I <clears throat> went to see a doctor. What did they say? It's Alzheimer's. So it helps if I have something to focus on, which is why I've been so busy. Dad, what did you tell me? I don't want to be a, a burden to anyone. I'm so sorry. Yeah, careful with those, and, and keep them off the lawn if you can. Whoa, this is intense. <laughs> Live television. Welcome to the circus. I will show you to your trailer. I get my own trailer. A long way from Alaska. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's coming this way. Who, Uncle Steve? Yeah. You call Steve Bedford Uncle Steve? Hi. Hi, Uncle Steve. I want to introduce Addison Reed. So this is who all the buzz is about. Hi, how you doing? Hi. Thanks for coming tonight. Appreciate it. Get some pie. Okay. Hey, you okay? Yeah, yeah. Uh, can, can we talk? Yeah. Let me just show Addison to her trailer. I'll meet you inside. Sure. Nice to meet you, Addison. Thanks. You too. Hey, sorry for interrupting. Joyce is grabbing Dad. I know this week has been stressful. It's all right, J-Bug. I'm gonna do one December night. Okay, guys. Steve's gonna be a few more minutes, but before he gets here, I just want to apologize up front. Troy? No, no, I need to say I'm sorry. Please. Mike, this is on me. I was just worried that... What's going on? Steve and I shot a version of One December Night. Did you know about this? Yes. We discussed this and we agreed. He only did it for Steve Bedford. It's the same reason he's done everything else. Uh, Uncle Mike. I think you should leave. Have you tried this pumpkin pie? It's amazing. Don't like pumpkin pie? I don't think the show's gonna happen. I'm so sorry. Nutmeg. What? That's what makes the pie so good. This isn't a joke. If my dad doesn't go on tomorrow, then the labels... Quinn, I grew up on a school bus. You think I care about being broke? I was happy then, and I'm happy now. But it's not just the money. You deserve for the world to hear your music. You know why I hired you? Because you're smart, determined, and just the right amount of pain in the neck. As long as it's the right amount. I'm not the only one who needs you. You're not gonna let me down, and you're not gonna let them down either. Now, I'm gonna finish my pumpkin pie. You go save our show. <laughs> Quinn, I'm Troy, sorry. There are trucks that need to get unloaded. Can you make that happen? Yeah, but no. I, I just... What matters is what happens next. Okay. It's time to make your aunt Diane proud. Hey, uh, it's Jason. 
Is Blitzen still in a gift-giving mood? Dad? Dad? Dad, where are you? Dad! Why didn't you answer me? My mouth's full. <clears throat> I know that what Steve did feels like a betrayal. Because I feel it too. But you can't solve this by shutting down and kicking everyone out. Well, last I checked, this, this is still my home. It's our home. Of course. Feels like nothing's mine anymore. This house, it's a tourist destination. The song I, I wrote about that night, uh, I first met your mom. It's a sweater ad. They take and they take and they take, and it just never seems to be enough. And you know, even the man I thought of like a brother. You're right. Your music isn't yours anymore. Because you share it with all the lives that you've touched. But don't turn your back on something that beautiful. And if not for them, do it for me. I need this, Dad. Please talk to Steve. Hey, Steve, we got to talk. You're right, Mike. I just got to find um, my... Um, what? My jacket. Well, it's not down there. Steve. I was sure that I had it. What's going on? time they can't say exactly all those fights they were just as much my fault as yours no we didn't fight because we were enemies stevie we fought because we're brothers and brothers fight sometimes what do you say we give everyone one more night to remember it <laughs> sounds good but You'll just have to remember it for the both of us. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Oh. Hi, Diane. Hello, Quinn. I'm sure that you've heard. But I just want to let you know that I'm going to do everything that I possibly can to... Congratulations. Congratulations? On the show. Mike called. I know, I know. You don't want him involved. But you can't blame a proud papa, can you? <laughs> I, uh, I guess not. <laughs> and tell Jason not to worry. Getting a lawyer this close to Christmas can be tricky. But it was a fairly easy fix. Just make sure he's familiar with quid pro quo. I will. Merry Christmas, Diane. Merry Christmas, Quinn. Hey. Hi. I didn't know if you'd answer. You don't have to do a secret knock to get me to answer the door. Can we talk? to the city, see some specialists, figure things out. Whatever you need, you know that I will be there. Thanks. You 
know for now. I want to make sure that we give Bedford and Sullivan the send-off that they deserve. What do you think, Quinn? Still time to save a show? Oh, I think our dads already did. Let's move it, people. We're losing daylight. Check, check. We'll do it again. We got the other players for you. Christmas miracle. We can learn something. All right. <laughs> <laughs>
That splits the publishing rights. I knew you're up to something. Six years ago, it seemed like the right thing to do. To protect the catalog. But now? <laughs> I'm gonna look out for Bedford and Sullivan. Thank you. When trouble comes, I know I'll be okay. To be the man you need Built a home and family Together for eternity Ever since that one December night It all began that one December night They're really good if you dunk them in hot chocolate, but I, I prefer a glass of milk. <laughs> so I see it out probably 10 yards. I just flick the lure. Bam. This thing grabs it. Pretty much pulled me out of my long jumps. But you landed her. Yeah. I landed her, yeah. And I, I've told you this story before, haven't I? <sighs> it's OK, Dad. I love it. Uh. All right, I'm going to refresh my eggnog, see what Mike is up to. You might want to check out the other Sullivan. Thanks, Dad. So, going on tour with Addison, huh? Life on the road calls again. Hmm. But in between, I was thinking about splitting my time between here and the city. Mm -hmm. Why's that? I think Norma might be right. Bedford and Sullivan, the sequel. We look so cute as bobbleheads. There better be some mistletoe over there, J Bug. <laughs> Sorry, Uncle Mike. I swear. Is there a second ago? <laughs> Merry Christmas, Dad. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. 